Ladies and gentlemen, after a short layoff, we are back with NCAA 2K20 tonight. Conference races heat up all over the country. Purdue is one of the hottest teams in the nation, and they try to keep their perfect start alive against a desperate Minnesota team. UCLA and USC seem to be running away with the Pac-12. Can Oregon catch them? They'll have to step up against Washington. And in prime time, the nation's number one team hits the hardwood again as Memphis takes on the team that has pushed them the most since conference play began when Gonzaga makes the journey out east. Is an upset on the cards? You know there's only one way to find out. NCAA 2K20 on GA Sports is brought to you by Derek's NCAA 2020-2021 rosters. These are the most authentic college basketball rosters ever produced, featuring true-to-life player faces, ratings, and tendencies, as well as fully customized teams, coaches, and lineups. Check out the Patreon featured in the description so you can get the roster when it drops, plus monthly updates. Come be a part of the most ambitious project in sports gaming by clicking the link in the description. We're back here with NCAA 2K20, and we're starting off with a matchup with some big implications moving forward in the Big Ten. Purdue currently in first place in that conference, 5-0 in conference right now. But Minnesota looking to make a name for themselves here. And uh, if they win, I believe they are just a game back of the Boilermakers. And they could potentially yeah, be tied with Michigan State, who's in action right now. You know, this, like you said, this has huge conference implications here. Um, and I think even more so, like, Harms on the ball right now. Um, oh, I, that's a good screen. Come on. Ah! Um, Harms yeah, is just, he's been so, so immense for Purdue, but also you have Oturo and, um, oh, why am I blinking on his name? Demir, Alahan Demir right now for, um, for Minnesota. I had to focus on my shot there, but <laughs> who um, who are also the two big men for Minnesota? So um, yeah, it's gonna be a good matchup down down low in the paint. There. Was, Purdue has looked great in the first half of the conference season in the Big Ten. Like I mentioned, five and zero, oh, so they are looking excellent right now. And Matt Harms is certainly there. a big reason why. Yeah, speaking of another team that looks great, obviously, is the Duke Blue Devils. They remain undefeated. As they won earlier, beat Florida State 66-54. Joey Baker, 18 points. Huge for him. And, and these are two teams, I mean, obviously, these are two of the best teams in the Big Ten. Maybe maybe the two best teams in the Big Ten. And they are going mm -hmm. to meet each other Absolutely. in back-to-back -back weeks. Because uh, Purdue has to travel to Minnesota next week to play the Golden Gophers. So, I mean, these two games... You know, the, the entire complexion of the Big Ten. Oh, nope. what a block. The entire complexion of the Big Ten could change over the next two weeks here with these. Nope, oh, from Willis, behind. Nice block. Stefanovic. Nice block. Good pass inside oh, to Thompson. Defensive, defensive laps there. Yeah. I, I was going to say, I think you are absolutely right before about Harms completely changing the complexion of the game. I mean, you can just see how the defense moves when Harms is on the floor and how. Uh, how different it is in terms of you know their matchups and double teams. I don't know why Harms took the step for that. That was a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean the the lane just clears out so much with Harms. There's there's so much more mm -hmm. space on the floor. No, there was no animation or anything. <gasps> oh, Eastern. No way. Yes. Wow, he makes yes. that one too. Straight Man, down so the lane. Away here. Let's see what he can do with three seconds. Oh no! A wide open. That's what he can do. Wide open look. That's that what is, I can do. That is partially my fault because that was my man, Thompson from half court. Oh. Woo! That's. I'll tell you what's become typical. Uh, unfortunately for North Carolina is losing, and they've done it again oh. to Virginia, 68-58. Virginia beats the. Uh, uh, the North Carolina Tar Heels, and that snaps a four-game losing streak for Virginia, and that sends North Carolina two games back of second place in uh, in the ACC. Sorry, I was looking at Stefanovic flying through the air there. So they, North Carolina two games back in the ACC, but they play second place Syracuse next episode. So pretty much everything on the line for North Carolina when yeah, they play the absolutely. Orange. Yeah, absolutely. 
that's sad to see that they um you know have lost two they're 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 actually such a good team and we we've identified them early on as being one of the better teams in this oh you can't leave them open Thompson. oh ah. very lucky very lucky um yeah there's just one of those teams that you know consistently year after year make the big dance you know and perform yeah. well in the big dance and it's unfortunate to see him not doing well but exciting for other teams you know he was a little bit quieter i think so as far as scoring actually you may be right and now arms look at that move well he heard me from uh from <laughs> side now coach coach ain't happy down below coach ain't happy he wants a timeout we mentioned earlier yeah. how this game has major implications in the Big Ten, and now the implications are even greater, especially for Minnesota, as we can confirm. Michigan State, a 27-point win over Ohio Ooh. State. So you want to talk about a team that was winless coming into conference. The Spartans, good steal there. The Spartans are now 4-2, and two, and if Minnesota loses this game, they will be in sole possession of second place in the Big Ten. Michigan State will be so oh so this game especially for Minnesota uh, there is there's a lot of meaning in this matchup right now yeah this is huge and you know maybe they caught word of it in the locker room or whatnot but players are coming out playing with some heart here and you know really showing that they're not gonna lay down for a really good Purdue team that's another one Yep, yep, oh, get him up. Williams, no one there, and one. Oh, tough, 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 tough. Woo, Williams, you can that see. That we've seen in this series. Yep, nobody in the lane for harms. We'll take that. Where's my Where's my center at? I have two centers, and neither one of them are where they're supposed <laughs> to be right now. You know what? Minnesota didn't even have that bad of a game today. They really did they not. They didn't even have... They were just they outplayed by a, a Purdue team that has been white hot all season long yeah. yeah and purdue is gonna go and grab this win okay <laughs> i thought purdue was gonna grab this win pretty easily uh I actually, Demir had I other actually plans. i actually dislike this game <laughs> 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 i cannot believe that wow well matt harms finishes it off with a couple free throws it's yet another 2020 game for harms and Purdue celebrating because they are in, uh, they are in the clear right now in first place in this conference. Michigan State celebrating because they have sole control of second place in this conference, which is not something I ever thought I would say. And uh, wow, we've got a crucial Pac-12 matchup coming up next. Game two is a game with implications that are not quite known in the Pac-12. Oregon has been playing really well as of late, and they have a chance to potentially challenge the top two teams, those being UCLA and USC, but both of them are not playing until later. So we'll, of course, get you the update from their two matchups in our during our third game. But for now, all Oregon can do is try to win this game and hope for some good results there. Absolutely, and these teams have already played once this season um, with Oregon beating beating Washington at home, wide open three, come on. Um, so Oregon looking to do the double over them this season. At, to when you look at the Huskies, if you can remember all the way back to a lot of the non-conference tournaments, Washington was that team that we never really saw all that much, but they always turned in great performances. They were 5-0 and going into those non-conference tune-ups. Or 5-1, and I should say, going into those non-conference tune-ups. So this was a team that was playing really well, that had wins uh, over Minnesota twice. And then they get into non-conference tune-up, and God, they just... I don't know what the hell happened. They fell apart. They did. They fell apart. They fell apart. And now Quade Green, oh my oh, god. Oh, what a block. Let's talk about a major game right now that has some major implications. As Florida picks up a one-point win over Auburn, your boys over there at Florida. It's a great performance for the mm. Gators, and let's take a look. Noah Locke and Scotty Lewis combined for 29 
in this win over the mm. Tigers. This sends Florida to four and two in conference, and depending on Tennessee's result over Mississippi State, we could have a three-way tie for first place in the SEC. That's ins that that's insane. Um, that conference is always, you know, I mean, you know, we all know it for a football conference, but basketball conference-wise. Talk about a team that is not consistent right now. Either of these teams, when it comes to shooting, my God, this has been a travesty for both teams. C.J. Walker, man, I'm subbing him out right now. Uh, C.J. has been great. Unbelievable. He's been he, he's been great this year, but he's been poor. Yeah, this this game, this game, he has really struggled. Oh no! Give me that. We need a three here from Patterson. Oh my gosh. Quade Green with the drive. No way. Look at that. No way. Wow, Quade Green. That would have been sweet if my guy would stop standing like for oh, 10 minutes waiting Daniels. for the pick and roll. When I called the I called the pick and roll and he's standing in the paint asking for the ball. Oh, That's not how this works, oh, my guy. Wow. You listen to Pritchard. And to uh to get things started in this Pac-12 break up UCLA and USC's dominance. Oh wow, Riley Sword. Oh, my Good lord. Oh my. Good lord. Rim rattling dunk. If that doesn't. Oh, <laughs> no way. <gasps> that wasn't even. He a literally pass. lost it off his knee. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, uh, if that sequence That's doesn't That's the way this game's going this for Oregon. Let me sub Pritchard. It's literally not letting me sub Pritchard out. <laughs> <laughs> if you could see my screen right now, I'm clicking to initiate the sub on Pritchard. And it freezes, and I can't click any of the players there. <laughs> the game is desperate to keep Pritchard in. Oh, I don't know. All right, I don't know what I was there doing out go. there. Was Oregon shot 17% oh my. today. Yeah, it's not been great. It's not been great for me. I'll say, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, not, oh sent back home. Oh. Folks, we got some breaking news here as we get down into the final minute of this game. We have an upset alert. Mississippi Bro. State has finally won a game. We have no winless teams remaining. Wow. I I really did not think that they were going to win a game ever. <laughs> I can't even blame you for thinking that, honestly, the way they've been playing. Ugh. But they did. We definitely talked about them not looking good enough, too. But they beat who they beat? Tennessee? Tennessee, they did. That's a wide open SEC now. That absolutely is. 64-48 was the final, and that means we have a three-way tie wow. atop the SEC. Kentucky, Tennessee, and Florida all sitting at 4-2 and two in conference. So, I mean, you're talking about... Oh my. You are talking about a conference that, right now, almost every game means something. Because not only do you have three teams at 4-2, and two, you have Auburn sitting at 3-3 three and three as well. So, you know, for mm -hmm. example... Next week, we've got Kentucky, Auburn, and Florida, Tennessee, and those are just two of the matchups. I mean, almost every game means something in that Absolutely. conference now. So, Absolutely. Yeah, expect to see a lot of SEC games in the future on NCAA 2K20. I agree. Like you said, for, for a conference that is traditionally known as a football conference, uh, they have shown up uh, for basketball this season. So... Uh, Oregon did not show up for this game, unfortunately for the Bucks. <sighs> this, this was a night to forget for Oregon, to say the least. So the Pac-12 certainly looks uh, almost done and dusted, depending on UCLA and USC. And again, we'll keep you updated. Uh, our primetime game, Gonzaga versus the number one ranked team in the country, Memphis Tigers. That's coming up next. In our prime time game, one of two undefeated teams left in NCAA 2K20 goes up against a team that has really given them some challenges in the past. Gonzaga, they ended up losing to Memphis by two in their first game a few weeks ago. So if there's any team that could maybe get the job done against the number one ranked team in the country, it would be Gonzaga. 
and a good way to start things off. Oh, no never mind. Way. Never mind. That was a ru that was a rush shot there by Boogie Ellis. A prayer. Wow. All right. Well, good way to start things off, and there you go, Killian Tilly, who's playing hurt today for Gonzaga, but the Bulldogs needed him in this lineup to deal with the stellar freshman James Wiseman. Yeah, absolutely. This game last time was a, a two-point game. It was 62 to um, 60. So, oh my gosh, just getting sent oh, home. Block. Wiseman. Boom. Oh, almost had it. Um, yeah, 62 to 60. We we were saying before the game that this could be the best team that could upset uh, Memphis here. You know, you see it. You know how good this Gonzaga team is. Um, Yep. We think that yep. next to Seton Hall in conference, this is the team that gives them the best chance, except for it's at Memphis. It's gonna be real. Waits for the defense to rotate. Nobody there but Wiseman uh, with excuse, the putback. Excuse, oh, excuse my me, the ball goodness. was not clear. What? That was an infringement. <laughs> Who is oh, the shrimp that's bodying me right now? Who is the shrimp that's bodying me? <laughs> and then he gets I want to know who that was that has 99 strength there. A chew -a. look that at happens. that. What? Oh, oh wow. You love what to see it. What a pass. Yep, Weissman off the dribble. Drive. Nope, I'll take the board back. Oh, my God. The, <laughs> He's so like, athletic, it's if, ridiculous. If somebody's watching this and wants to go back and count how many times Griffin gets the board after he shoots... <laughs> Please let me know in the comments below because I would, I personally would love to know how many second chance points this man gets. Oh, that should be mine. Yep, Weissman backing down, foul, and one off. Oh. Well, folks, we told you earlier in the second game that we'd keep you updated on UCLA and USC. Well, both of those games have finished up, and both the, the Bruins and Trojans pick up wins. Mm, uh, UCLA beating Arizona 56-52. USC with a close win over Arizona State 63-61. So both teams with some big wins, and that means that the Bruins and Trojans are tied atop the Pac-12, and uh, no team is within two games of them. Closest team is two games away. So, so UCLA and USC, that's a great wow. take by Wiseman. UCLA and USC... Uh, they are dangerously close to just locking up the two tournament bids from the Pac-12 right now. Oh! No way. Yeah, put it up high that for Wiseman. <laughs> Wiseman didn't even need to jump for that one. Wiseman again. Yeah, give him three board. chances. Oh, I bet if I had three chances God. on the offensive board, I would score one of them too. Good Lord game. I think part of it is that, you know, across NCAA 2K... We've kind of developed a pattern of teams that we play with. Uh, no! Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Oh, my God. Thank that was you. about to be the best block of the year right there. Is Memphis in trouble or will Adam bottle it? That is the age-old question. Going up. Oh, Boogie nice Ellis. Take. Wow. Nice Memphis is a young oh, team. My. So in close games like this, this is where they are going to be tested more so than in any other situation. And, oh, oh nice yes, steal. Harris. Kick it out. Boogie Ellis no. for three. No, but look who it is. Yeah. Great pass inside, nope. and Ellis Give me that, give me rejected. that. There's three of my guys. There's <laughs> dead ass three of my guys there. Wiseman at the buzzer. No. <laughs> nice drive no here. Way. Yes. What a, hell, what a hell of a take. What a Ooh. hell of a take. Oh, Beautiful. Wow. Needed that. Woo. Dialed in there, Watson. Tilly, once again, playing injured, but he has been tremendous. Tilly! Speaking let's of go. which, by the way, Weissman let's trying to go, go for the block there just cracked his head against the backboard. So that shows you <laughs> yeah. how athletic he is. He's massive. He's going to be a huge talent in the NBA <laughs> one day. Uh, that is absolutely true. One day soon, I think. Ellis, yes, there's, Boogie Ellis. There's no way that he just punches that in like that. <laughs> Ellis has been tremendous today, by the way. For for all the 
for all the plaudits that, that Weissman gets, and with good reason. From the oh, come on. Yes, DJ Jeffries. Oh, that's tough. Woo! That's that. You, we need. We couldn't oh, get in low. Man. We couldn't get in low. I can still get a three. I can still get a three off my team setup for it because I knew that would come down to this. Yep. Either right. way here. All right, sports fans, do you believe? Oh, oh you cheat. Oh, yes, you're cheeky. You are cheeky. Woo. Although I mean, it does give you an inbound opportunity right now, so. Quick three. That's in. Oh. Yes, Precious Achua. Oh, my God. He threw at the leg of the court to end the game. <laughs> that was insane. Oh, wow. That is not something I was expecting, but but it worked out. Oh, Memphis escapes once again from Gonzaga. That's twice now that the Bulldogs have really pushed the number one team in the country and have come up just short. So, Memphis remains undefeated and that is the end of today's episode so you will not want to miss any of the action that's coming at you for the next few episodes subscribe so you can see it all we appreciate you